guys, I'm going to be reacting to another video today. This is another suggestion video. This is called All 50 U.S. States Summarized by Geography Now. So this is the second Geography Now video that I'm going to watch. The first one was about Canada, this is about the U.S. So I don't even know all, all the states, to, to be honest. Like, I'll know them when I hear about them, but like I can't really tell you what's the state and what's not. So I mean, I'll probably learn a bit or two about the U.S. here. So that's obviously, you know, cool because they're like my neighbors, basically. So I might as well learn a bit about them. Um, but yeah, um, I, this was suggested by Jose Palo, so I'll put a suggestion here. And yeah, let's go. It's about 13 minutes long. Let's go. Hey, Jeff Peach. So this is a little video that I kind of wanted to make for a while, but never really had time until now. So of course, the majority of Geography Now subscribers are from, you know, my home country, the U.S. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the U.S. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities, and I'm going to try my best to explain each and every single one of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black people are poor, but they party equally hard. Roll Tide! No, but seriously, Alabama Alabama is kind of like where the Confederacy started, so, uh, yeah, Civil War. Alaska, America's refrigerator. Seriously, this is like where we stockpile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up. It's the largest and coldest state. You can find polar bears and the native Yupik people. Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. This is kind of like the King Desert State of the U.S. Arizona is also home to the largest Indian reservation, Navajo Nation. Arkansas, basically just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows. It basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. California, my home state. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the U.S., it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So obviously California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the U.S. government. We're the home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. Colorado, our health state, which has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. They are really enjoying those new cannabis laws. Connecticut is like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware, the first state to become a state. And that's, like, literally all they got going for them. I think they have, like, a cardboard box factory. Florida, America's swampy playground. Seriously, like, none of the houses here have basements, because if you just dig down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they built Disney World. They made it bigger, and then, like, 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach state. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the U.S. Boiled peanuts and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Yeah, some places do that in America. Hawaii, the last state to become a state. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country. Like, it was a Polynesian country. They had their own monarchy and everything. Is Hawaii not Hawaii a country right now, or am I just stupid? Cool. Okay. I'm bad at geography and I know nothing. Just heads up, I know nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Idaho. The only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state. I mean, apparently they have some cool secluded spots like hot springs and gorges. Otherwise, I feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we don't know about. Illinois. Ah, the land of Lincoln, even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now, I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this state, and a lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like, half of the time, people don't even know what state Chicago is in. And historically, it was known as, like, the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered, and also because, and eh, there was kind of like a little bit of a mafia past. Indiana is like Illinois' annoying little brother who took the town of Gary away from Chicago, and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace of Michael Jackson. No, but seriously, like, the only interesting thing from here is, like, the Indy 500 car race. Otherwise, John Green is from here. Iowa. Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, and they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest. Famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse derbies. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana. Ah, now y'all coming out here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get the real couture cause Louisiana is one of the only few states left in the U.S. that has concentrated francophone communities that speak French, kind of. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish.
fish and crabs, reptiles, and other swamp creatures. This place is unlike anywhere else in the U.S. Maine, the lobster state. This is what, where all the tough Atlantic sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. Maryland. Maryland is like home to the richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab. Crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab. You cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts is like the library of America, and it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better than the other two. Michigan! I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century, you were like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in U.S. history. Minnesota! I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus, there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. The land of 10,000 lakes. And if I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just, uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey kids, let's go grab our bags and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up with that accent. Mississippi. This is like probably America's truest, deepest, southern, southern, y'all put some butter on my grits state. Speaking of butter, yes, they are the fattest state. Just they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri, America's gateway to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City is actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Las Vegas for old people. And people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china cabinets. Sorry, Missouri, just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana, America's big, empty, mountainous, May as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. I mean, seriously, you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne, Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. <laughs> On Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America lives here. Nevada is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on, Nevada. New Hampshire is kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and wooden covered bridges, home to dark the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very angry. Like, they don't even try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go crazy on the dance floor or are crazy on each other. New Mexico is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened, and now he came out with, like, six-pack abs and a sleek new look, and uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens landed. New York is kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. Most Caucasian Americans that have ties to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island, where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes, and they never sleep. Seriously, like, this whole place never stops moving. North Carolina, the first in-flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca-Cola's arch-nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access, Pipeline, Controversy, Drama thing. In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio is like the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and carnivals. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, America's tornado state. Now pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes, however, Oklahoma, dang, you get hit hard. Oregon, it started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with burly men with axes and chainsaws, but then one day the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore, so they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon is like this weird lumberjack, vegan, hipster, hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania, America's history state. We should have had our capital over here, and technically at one point our Congress did actually meet in Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island, our smallest state, and it's not even an island, it's not even a peninsula. The heck, Rhode Island. Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies, and other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional city of Quahog in the show Family Guy, but that's about it. South Carolina. These people love their tobacco, fudge, walnuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. South Dakota. The other Dakota. Home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the 
Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians. Mountain folk. Bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Texas was at one point even its own country, and in Texas, everything is bigger. Football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food groups. Cattle ranches are everywhere. And contrary to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah. Basically, everybody kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise, they have great skiing. The Sundance Festival comes here all the time and they have great eroded rock formations like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise, the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like, seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Virginia is kind of like where everything started with the U.S. Essentially, the British came in, they tried to start a little small town, and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened, and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate and holds so much history. So, Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically, imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon, except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam! Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a volcano erupted in the 80s, and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia is like the southernmost like state that was actually part of the Union during the Civil War. It was like, no, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40, and we get a lot of coal from here. Wisconsin, America's dairy land. Now, my personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend Bill, he's actually one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. They're also like home to the country's most attractive, chubby people. They don't care. They own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot springs. They have tons of buffalo and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here sometimes, Congress assembles, mostly. All the museums in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. Security cameras are everywhere. So have fun! Just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. Alright, now very quickly before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this before, I'm trying to work to save up for my heritage trip that me and my mom are taking, and as you guys know, one way I'm doing that is by doing more of these sponsored videos, and I'm very happy to announce that a great company called Skillshare has decided to sponsor Geography Now. What is Skillshare? Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with over 15,000 classes covering everything from photography to cooking to JavaScript. I personally keep my eye on the French courses so that I can brush up on my French for the heritage trip that my mom and I are planning to go on. It's very simple. Once you sign up, you select which fields you're interested in learning in, and from there, Skillshare gives you options to choose from a variety of categories and channel suggestions for you to follow. What's even cooler is everyone can not only take part in the classes or try a project, but you can also become a teacher and, if possible, work on Skillshare. Membership starts at $10 a month for unlimited access to every class. However, you can get a free two-month trial by clicking on this link right here, which will also be available in the description of this video. Skillshare is also available on Android and iOS phone, you can even tap into every class when you're offline. Thanks Skillshare, you guys rock, great learning material, check them out. In the meantime, thank you for watching, hope you learned something, subscribe, stay cool, stay tuned. Alright, so, yeah, sorry, I just kind of left there just to make sure no one was up here. Okay, so first of all, I have some comments because I did not even know, like, I didn't even know a bunch of these were even part of the US, like, I don't know if I'm just stupid. I don't know anything, like, like when they said Alaska is a US state, I was like, I thought that was a fucking country, like, I'm, I'm really bad, kid, I'm just sick. I'm terrible in geography, in geography I was like failing and I passed just within a 50 or something. Like, I was really bad in geography and I don't, don't know anything about like where places are and all that stuff and like what's what and, you know, so like when I saw this, right, like, I literally looked it up during the video, I was like, no, I can't be sure, and I was like, what? What? Like, I was shook, I was like, what? So let me just see what it says here. I mean, I'm just gonna say it's a state and stuff, but... Yeah, Alaska's a state, located on the northwest extremity of the United States. Did not know that either, okay, cool. And then when they said Hawaii, I was like, oh, well, Hawaii, okay. And then I look it up and I'm like, there's no, that's not a state, that's a freaking like, country to me. And then I look it up and then boom, that happens again. And I'm like, 
Like, am I just stupid and do I not know anything? Like, do I actually not know anything? It's a state of the United States of America located in, in the Pacific Ocean. I swear to God, that was like a country of its own. Like, how is that a state? Like, whatever. So I, I, I considered that a different country and I was like, what? And then I even looked up Puerto Rico because I was like, that's a different country to me. And then guess what it says? It's a territory. It's, a, it's an un, unincorporated U.S. territory. I was like, of course, U.S. Like, what? What? Like, here, I'm going to look this up because I'm going to look at my in, in, in analytics. And I'm going to see my audience and just see how much are... So this is the last 28 days. Top countries, U.S. 55.9%. So please don't, I don't think I'm stupid. I just don't. I just did not get, I didn't, did not know that at all. I'm actually going to gonna look this up. See lifetime how many people have watched me. So the U.S. 40.8%. Canada 16%. So the, the, the majority of you guys are from the U.S. So please don't think I'm stupid. I just don't know much about the U.S. And hearing a lot of stuff about that, uh, most of the stuff I did not know at all. Like most of the stuff I did not have a clue. Like obviously I knew like Florida, California, like all that, like, you know, like how, like half the places I really know what to consider a state. Like California, is that a state? Is that a, obviously it's not a country because that's in, in the US. Like is Florida a state? Like I'm pretty sure they mentioned Florida and California, but I'm kind of thinking like what's Florida? Like to me, I don't know if it's a city, like California, like what is that? Like what is, you know, it says Florida is a state. I'm assuming it's going to say California is the same thing you know. Which, it was in this video, U.S. state, yeah. Yeah, so like I just don't. I'm 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 assuming they're broken up into states, and obviously there's like cities within the state and stuff. But like to me, the state names kind of make me think of a city, and I'm like, what? Like I'm just so shook at times. Like I don't know. But <sighs> that just goes to show you how how much you know about the U.S. Nothing. Bub kiss. So again, don't judge me, I'm not from the US, I never really understood much about it, I never learned much about it, like, I'm, I'm in Canada, of course I'm going to learn more about, um, about my own country. I'm um, assuming you guys don't know much about the US, or about Canada either, so I mean, like, the, uh, are you guys from the US? So, I mean, that's going to be it for this video, um, if you're going to call me stupid, go ahead, because, I mean, I kind of feel stupid right now, but I mean, oh well. I hope you guys did, I did like this video though, and I'll see you in the next one. But give me other, uh, if you have any other suggestions, give me them, and I'll do them hopefully soon. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.